we almost had one on the telecast. Two ninety nine. That's right. Big scores perhaps next week. Of course, that's our next event on ESPN coming your way the 23rd of August on Tuesday night beginning at 7.30. Our top seed, Dave Husted, waiting patiently for the start of the title match. I had an opportunity to talk with him and ask him, just what does it mean to you to win career title number 10? Well, it's, it's probably real big right now. Uh, it's much more, you know, if this term was 100,000, I'm not thinking about the 100,000 if it was. Uh, that might lock me up for the Hall of Fame, which uh, would be very satisfying. You know, I've won a couple majors, and uh, I've been very steady, but I haven't haven't won maybe as much as I maybe I think I should. And uh, and uh, maybe ten titles isn't deserving, but uh, the precedence has been been already been set. And uh, if I can get to ten, it's kind of an unwritten rule that uh, guys with ten titles make the Hall of Fame. So uh, it'd be very special. Well, Dave Houston is very special, Denny. Uh, I don't think whether he gets to 10 or not is going to hurt him for the Hall of Fame. I think he's a shoe-in to get into the Hall of Fame, maybe as soon as he turns 35. Told me that the key to the title match is to get off to a very quick start, especially against George tonight. Out of the gate with a fastball, and a beautiful strike for Houston in the first. A little break in between games there now. Let's see if Branham can maintain the momentum that he had. Consistency see, there. Right? right, very consistent there. Averaging almost nine strikes a game. Really, when he has made a quality shot, like his ball reaction is so great that the ball cannot go higher than flush. And he's hardly left anything when he's made a quality shot. I mean, his, his carry percentage is high. Keep in mind, in case you've just joined us, he has four titles. He has never lost in a title match. This is his fifth opportunity. He wants to go five for five. The eight kind of teased him for a second, but it fell over. What do they say? He has developed a follow local contingent. Yes. And another re-rack on this right lane. Had a number of them. Keep in mind, this is Dave Husted's 48th appearance in the championship round. He has seen just about all of it from top to bottom, so. And he's 48 and 38 coming into this match. Excellent record for in the championship round. A little more loft. Big time comeback shot. And he says, well, okay, George, I know you're lined up. Just wanted to let you know that so am I. David Houston, five-step player. Look at that determination on his face. Pushes it out, gets a full arm swing. He's got a long arm to begin with. Head and shoulders are forward at this point in time. Now look at the height of that backswing over his head. That's way up there. Gets the head and shoulders over the knee at the point of release. Stays down with the shot. That one just kind of came off. Oh, he hung on to that baby, and guess what? Danced him out nonetheless. I think the speed knocked that out more than anything else because it didn't have the heavy roll that the shot in the second frame had. Major velocity. Branham's got to keep pace with him. Off his hand quick. Quick and wide. The overreaction, and he's really fortunate to get away with the four pin. Just wasn't as good a shot as the shot before on that lane. Watch it come off his hand really fast. See, it didn't get but three or four inches over the foul line at that point in time. Got out here. Now it's starting to hook. And he's playing for a four pit. He stayed a little while on that one, too. That one yeah. fell right off his hand. Yeah. At this point in time, you know, he may be thinking in his mind, do I need a strip of tape or a half a strip? Or, you know, I used to at this point maybe blow in the thumb hole just to create a little moisture and, and a little suction there to hold on to the ball. As opposed to making a tape move. Right. Because it would seem, you know, you get this point and then you put the tape in and you hang it. <laughs> <laughs> you caught that trap. There she is. My lovely bride. That's right. 
out to watch yet another PBA event. Yeah. She hasn't seen enough already. As a football alum. That's right. Watched you win 14 times. Is she gorgeous? Yes, she is. Haven't seen her in a while. It's nice to chat with her. Houston comes back. Boy, that was unusual pin action. They're, like the back row was up there for a split second, and they all fell down. He is a determined player. He wants victory number 10. He smells the Hall of Fame, all the things that go with it. I mean, there's just something about double-digit titles. None of us have triple digits. <laughs> for five. Has to restart. Boy, that's hard to do, too. You know, you, you get four in a row, you're going for the title, and, and I don't know whether it's a cameraman or somebody behind the, uh, the screen taking still photos. And that was as good a shot as made the whole game right there. Watch this. I mean, the thumb is out and heavy, heavy, heavy fingers here. And 10 in the pit. And George Branham has to strike here. As well as he's bowled all night, he's going to be out of this match if he doesn't strike here. Off his hand quick again. And a solid 10. Amazing how it happens. He hadn't left hardly any all night. And when he has to have a strike, there's the solid 10. So do you think there's a bit of a squeeze there? No, I really don't. That thing came off his hand quick. Okay. So amazing when you watch these things develop. Nice cross lane spare of the 10. Don't forget, Saturday night, spend it right with us on ESPN. The Bills and the Oilers at 8 p.m. That's when they'll kick it. 75th anniversary of the NFL. Houston just trying to ease that heart rate back on down. Meanwhile, George Branham trying to get something started on the left-hand lane. And gets a break. Well, you know, we're in Bedford. This sounds like the dog pound at the stadium. It really does. I'll tell you what. Watch the hip pit. Off the wall and across to send the message to the tent. He needs it. And he needs Houston to stop striking. Houston with the first five. Flipped it out. Reeled it back in. He's got himself a six-bagger to start the title match. And right now, Branham's thinking, well, best I gets 259. Will that be enough? The way Houston's going. It doesn't look like it. I mean, if Branham takes it out the sheet, it may not be enough. Dragon, dirty is what you would say, and yet he gets the light tickler. That's the only place that ball would have struck. He just didn't get out of this one clean, a little defensive with the shot, but he gets a nice break. And Branham has to strike here. Off early, inside, will he get the hit? He gets another ball, but he got some help. George kind of looking at it, saying, well, I'll take it. It wasn't my best shot. Right now, he'll take anything. He'll take Brooklyn's at this point in time. Down 41 pins. He's got to keep striking. <laughs> and it may not be enough. Right there. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh that'll break your heart. But it basically basically has locked up this match. I mean, unless Houston falls apart, I mean, he couldn't have thrown it any better. <laughs> and that's all you can do. <laughs> oh, a little sneer for the eight, the dastardly eight pin that stood there. What a great shot that was. 